Hello and a very warm welcome. A totally different video today as we're going to discuss the Saudi Arabian circuit. F1 will be going to Saudi Arabia for the first time. And yeah, I've got an article up here. Saudi Arabia racing against time to complete F1 track. Now, when you read that headline, I would say that's very worrying given the race is only a couple of months away. So, Saudi Arabia is working overtime to prepare for its Formula 1 debut. An official said, with the track still under construction ahead of the early race, the race in early December. The official, speaking on conditions, said organisers were racing against time and working round the clock in the city of Jeddah. A visit to the track this week showed there was still much work to be done with buildings under construction and cranes and diggers on site. The floodlit circuit will run over 3.8 miles, the second longest on the calendar, and will feature 27 corners. Wow, 27 corners. The race weekends, December the 3rd, December the 5th. Yeah, so... The, uh, we've got the organiser president saying there's a huge demand for tickets. Tickets are also not cheap, ranging between 2,000 Saudi riles. Wow. We're expecting a huge turnout, especially from Europe and the United States. The Formula One project has cost a lot, and it is standard that the cost is cons compensated by the sale of tickets well yeah that's that's what happens at Silverstone the crowd coming in at Silverstone helps the Grand Prix so yeah but it is pretty worrying they've had um, obviously they've got the go ahead to have a race in Saudi Arabia I still have my concerns about even going to this circuit given what happened in Formula E uh, missile attack what happens if that happens in Formula 1 so yeah Saudi Arabia has already hosted big venues the Dakar Rally Formula E golf tennis events and boxing famously Anthony Joshua so yeah Formula 1 has come under close scrutiny over staging a race in Bahrain, and now Saudi Arabia. Human right watchers, it's all about that. I'm not really going to get into that because I don't know too much about it. But yeah, it, worrying times. Given that, right, we're coming into October. So by the time I bring this out, it'll be the 1st of October. So that is two months away, the Grand Prix. And... There's still massive construction work going on, diggers, cranes. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll get it done. They're working overtime. It's going to be pretty... I would say it's going to be quite a unique circuit because we don't have a track that has 27 corners. That is a lot of corners. Usually you're looking around 18, 19, 20. This Jeddah circuit... I mean, I don't have a clue. I've never been round it. It actually comes out on the F1 game uh, in November. But, yeah, I don't know too much about the circuit. I've never been round it. There's obviously photos of it. F1 released some pictures of it. It's going to be extremely fast. Um, yeah, Saudi Arabia. Going to be very interesting. I'm all for going to new venues, but I don't know. I think it could be a safety issue here, but we wait and see. But yeah, I mean, they're against the clock, uh, Saudi Arabia. I'm pretty sure they'll get it done. Comment below your thoughts on going to Saudi Arabia, going to a new venue. I would love to know. But yeah, interesting times ahead.